The technology behind the growing process for Cobia is what makes it truly unique. Cobia are in open waters with a consistently fresh natural diet and free-flowing water. Their suspended cages never get to the bottom and they have lots of room to roam, developing a high fat content for lots of texture and flavor. Kobe is described by our seafood team as a happy medium between swordfish and Chilean sea bass, with beautiful white boneless fillets. It's hearty, though not quite as steak-like as swordfish. Its softer bite is like sea bass, with twice the amount of omega-3s found in salmon. It's a very nutritious fish, with a clean flavor profile and phenomenal texture. Kobe tends to be more expensive because of the remoteness of where it's grown in Panama, and the processes in place to get it here, including freight costs. The yield from the whole fish to the fillet is relatively small because it has a larger head and a smaller body. However, once you have a skinless and boneless fillet like the Cobia available from Rustelli, it's a 100% usable product making it relatively inexpensive in the finished form. In the wild, these are solitary swimmers making it difficult from a fishery standpoint to target Cobia. They don't school up like other fish do so they're only catching one or two fish out of every trip and it's really difficult to develop a market for that. Typically, Kobe are so prized that the fishermen who catch a couple during a trip often take it home for their family. Because of its higher cost, white tablecloth or fine dining restaurants are typically the ones in the market for Kobe. A tremendous amount is also being sold through high-end retail. They can't keep it in-house, especially in stores where the customer base is well-traveled and has enjoyed Kobe in countries around the world where it is more common. Now when they come to their local market and see it, they are stocking up.